we all get nervous when we encounter sharks while diving. But don't we think it's funny and sweet when the shark swims by and just asks us to pet it? The sea was endless and silent, but there was a scene of incomparable warmth under the water. A shark actually arched its long mouth and rushed in front of a diver. To avoid being taken advantage of by the shark, the diver quickly put two hands around its head, preventing it from kissing. Then he rubbed the shark's head playfully. This scene looked very weird. After all, everyone had only rubbed kittens and puppies, not sharks. Strangely, the shark didn't respond at all. Even a child would struggle after being rubbed like this, but this shark enjoyed it. Then it shook its fins as if to hug the diver. It was shocking. Could this shark really survive in the ocean? In fact, this shark was very fierce in front of other marine animals, but when it faced humans, it became very gentle. This diver Jordan's encounter with a shark stemmed from a conflict between humans and sharks. Jordan was very fond of diving, which was a must-have item for him every summer. Although divers loved the ocean and marine life, they were also in awe of them and never bothered to provoke them. After all, it was humans who broke into their territory first. So they couldn't be harmed. But one day, when Jordan was swimming in the water with his legs kicked, he spotted a shark swimming towards him and his companions. In an instant, they became a little flustered, so they hurried upstream to the boat, preparing to escape. However, just as Jordan was about to pull the rope onto the boat, he turned around, and a fate between man and shark began. He found that the shark did not seem to be so carefree, and there was no murderous aura around it. What was even more strange was that its mouth was slightly open. He took a closer look and found that the shark's mouth actually had many hooks and fishing lines. Out of love for the ocean, he immediately turned around with compassion and swam in the direction of the shark. His companions were so frightened that they immediately followed him, afraid that something might happen to him. Then Jordan slowly approached the shark, perhaps just trying to save it. The shark didn't make a drastic move, so Jordan slowly put his hand to its mouth. He grabbed a fishing line lightly, then pulled hard and the hook came out. This action pleased the shark, which opened its mouth and seemed to signal Jordan to continue. In this way, Jordan slowly cleaned the hook in the shark's mouth. After giving Jordan a grateful glance, the shark turned away. It is thought that it was just a short encounter, but every time Jordan went to the sea after that, the shark would come to Jordan to play. Nature is so magical. There was no way they could connect but the shark always found Jordan with precision. Whenever Jordan touched it, the shark seemed very excited, and it even actively rubbed its head against Jordan's body. Jordan later gave it the name Blonde, meaning it was beautiful, which would indicate that the shark was female. As their friendship deepened, the shark would bring its friends to play with Jordan's friends. But while the other sharks swam around humans, this one was very insistent to be petted. It was because Jordan was its benefactor that it would behave like this. The relationship between humans and animals is often so wonderful. Fate begins inadvertently, and love also grows inadvertently. These have nothing to do with race, but the pity of creatures for each other.